Meantime, the FBI issuing a warning today. Chinese hackers targeting American universities and drug companies to steal and disrupt coronavirus research. Our Eamon Jabber is standing by tonight with CNBC contributor Sue Gordon. She's the former deputy director for national intelligence. Eamon? Yes, yeah, Scott, thanks. And Sue, you are exactly the right person to talk to about this because you are one of the nation's highest ranking intelligence officials and you spent decades in the CIA. This sort of public service announcement we saw today from the FBI and DHS, these are fairly common documents, but this one comes amid a global pandemic and it accuses the Chinese of attempting to hack into the vaccine data that drug companies and universities are collecting. What does that tell you about the level of concern inside U.S. intelligence, Sue? Yeah, so I think it's interesting in a, in a couple of ways. Number one, it's reflective of uh, the reality of cyber attacks and that they are attacking the private sector and the populace, not constraining themselves to the government. And so what you're seeing is an increasing trend of law enforcement and intelligence going directly to the private sector and the American people and saying, this threat is directed at you and you need to take some decisions. So I think that's what you're really seeing. The second is that we know we've been talking about cyber threats for years, but it costs resources to go against it. And so by calling out pharma and universities, you're saying it's not just general threat activity. This is threat activity directed at you, and you must take action in order to protect yourself. I think it's remarkable, and I think it's a good trend. Sue, does politics play any role in this? There were a lot of cynics out there today who said, well, this just comes right as the president happens to be ramping up his rhetoric against the Chinese around the virus. Is, is this linked to that, or, or is this just a coincidence, this timing? Uh, I, I think this is a trend that's been going for the past two or three years. If you recall, with the 2018 election, you saw a similar sort of direct uh, threat uh, announcement this is just trying to reach the people who are making the decisions and are conducting the activity that our adversaries are going against. So it, there may be a political piece, but I also think this is much more the reality of where we see the attacks and who has the responsibility to protect against them. And let me ask you about something a national security official told me today that was pretty alarming. This official said there's concern here that this isn't just about trying to steal the vaccine. If the Chinese can get into these databases, they could manipulate the data or they could fry the servers themselves. That is, they could prevent the United States from being first to a vaccine. Does that seem reasonable to you, given your decades of intelligence experience, that the Chinese might be trying to block the U.S. from getting a vaccine? Or is that concern overblown, do you think? No, I think, I think the economic stakes are so high, and certainly we know that cyber can be used to disrupt and deny and to destroy. And so I don't think it is an unreasonable concern uh, that they would come in and trying to get an economic advantage would slow their competitors through some sort of manipulation um, of attack. I, I, I think that that is a reasonable concern given what we know. Sue Gordon, so fascinating to talk to you about this tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to us. see you, Eamon. Scott, I'll toss it back over to you. All right, Eamon, I appreciate it. That's Eamon Javers, the former deputy director, uh, as well, joining us. Our thanks to you both.